amazed how dry it is here, given weeks of rain. Look at them go. There's Dad at the back, look, stay. some pig shit no I wasn't filming when you fell off you wasn't no hi guys hope you're all okay you join me on this gorgeous sunny Sunday morning it's about 8 a.m. I'm with Cristiano the main hey. man we're in the van Gaz couldn't make it because he's going for a run so I'm on my uh, normal KTM 300 TPI and Cristiano is on his new ish bike because ah. the last time we were out together he was on his KTM 300 TPI. Yeah, and he had a um, bit of a moment in a uh, <laughs> in a uh, little. There was a bit of a moment. Bit of a broken wrist moment. Yeah. So uh, the bike the bike went whilst I recovered, and then I got a bit sad that I didn't have a dirt bike, and uh, thought I'll go for a four stroke instead. Yeah, but the good thing is Christian uses this bike all the time for work. Obviously, he's got an ignition, takes it to work. He's ridden to the coast on it. It's a more usable bike. He's going to get rid of these tires very soon he's got a set of what have you got i bought the motos um tractionator tires and i went for the uh desert tire on the back because i thought it would uh be a little bit better on the road because um, right, you're going to do a lot of road yeah, and a bit of off-road so but these tires as i know on my these are similar to ones on my crf 250 and they are awful they're really not good but they're not awful but they're not good they're kind of not great on the road and not great off the road there's a lot of compromising so. yeah so this is christian we're at thetford so this is christian's first time at thetford we've got to be careful the ground is frozen this is icy as you can see by the frost on that field it's it's cold it's, it's below freezing so we've got to be a little bit careful the puddles have ice on them but it should break quite quickly so yeah what before this gets dirty we're just going to run over a few bits christian's it's done it's already dirty <laughs> so what yeah dirtier he's added an adventure spec Aluminium belly pan in black, which looks good. Hand guards. What are these, Zeta? Zetas, yeah. Zeta hand guards. He's added a little, uh, the bleeder valves yeah, for these the are uh, forks. Definitely worth the money. Yeah, there. but I'm going to get some so for mine. Better. I always forget to bleed my forks. So having them there, I'll remember to just tap it as I'm on the move. So, Definitely. yeah, but the, Christian, if he gets used to the power of this, because they haven't got the most power in the world, there is a power kit you can add to this. Anyway, so yeah. Uh, Wags is meeting us on his KTM 300 TPI. He's on his way. It'll be about 35 minutes. So we're in the van. And as I said, Gaz didn't make it. Gaz, my bro, is doing the marathon, isn't he, Christian? Yeah. We all work, Christian works with us and Gary works with me, obviously. <laughs> but he's doing the marathon, so he's got to do a big 20-mile run today. So he's not going to obviously come out with us. He's probably got more sense than us because it's bloody cold. <laughs> but anyway, it doesn't matter. So, yeah, bundled Christian's bike. Fitted perfectly in the van. Not really much longer, probably an inch longer than the... Uh, the 300. It's definitely We heavier. took the mirrors off. Yeah, it's heavier. Yeah. But we took the mirrors off because it wouldn't fit them with the mirrors on. But that was it. It fitted easy peasy. So well, Christian's going to come to Wales. So we know if he goes in the van with someone, we know this will fit in the van. So that's good Perfect. news. Right, guys, we're going to get the gear. Our gear's all in here somewhere. Our gear's all in here and all the bags. So we'll get geared up. Cristiano, what are you doing? Go for a slash. Oh, he's having a pee. Hey, my guy's here. There's his bike, all good. He's over there. He's all good. I'll follow you, you know where to go, don't you? There's the boys. Frosty morning ride. The old GPO is a bit cold at the moment. 
These puddles are icy, but we don't know how thick the ice is. <laughs> Not been down here for about a year. Morning. Smiling, happy faces. Still cold as well. Flags up in front. It's the first time Christian's taken his uh, CRF 450 off road properly, I think. He's had a little bit of a run out on it, but nothing like this. Woohoo! Damn, it's chilly. Got his mail cross gear on. of mud, ice, but you don't know quite what you're going to be on. Anyway, it's fine. We're out having a laugh. That's what matters. But try and avoid as many puddles as I can today. I don't want to get wet because we're going to get cold but cold as it is. It's, it's below freezing. But... <laughs> Love it. The weather is lovely, but we can't fin our thumbs. <laughs> it's brilliant. I can actually, I can see the red light. Oh, that's that is good. That's good. Clever. Yeah, I might have to move mine up underneath here. I've got a little bit on mine. Uh, yeah, sometimes you think you're recording yeah. and it's not, is it? <sighs> I wish you thought I was a little bit shorter. Yeah. Ah, uh, yours didn't start either, look. Ah. The Honda! Right, there goes Wags. Oh, this is so good out here. I've not been, not been here for a year. I forget how good it is. My bike's done about 30 hours now, so in another 10 hours, it's going to go to Jim Aim and have a, a proper big service. Get them to do it all for me. Tell you what, now my bike's warmed up, it's running a little bit sharper than it was before. And I think it's the air filter. Might be my imagination, but... The sand's really weird, it's half frozen, but not. It's really odd. to be out in the wilderness. Oh, I love it. That's three, but it doesn't matter. Well, that's that hole. Oh, I hit that. I hit that before, and I, I went flying. So yeah, guys, gas isn't here. He's doing the London Marathon in aid of uh, motor neurons disease, which my dad has sadly, and he's still with us, bless him. But Gary's going to do that. I'll, uh, if he's got a uh, Just Giving page, I'll try and put a link in the description if anyone wants to give a donation to uh, to a good cause. Thank you, Gate Man. Yo, oh my God. He's done it. Those whoops are lethal. <laughs> Feel the sand pull it, it's pulling me the sand. Fucking hell man, I'm skating like a good one. <laughs> I went up on the grass and he stacked it. It's so slippery on the frost. The GoPro's turning off with my voice. Oh, it just turned off then. You just said oh. GoPro, turn off and it, it's, got, it's off now. <laughs> Let's share some heat. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, that's lovely. Oh my god, that's like gas firewags! Oh! That's so good! Keep going! Straight over! Yeah, no, keep going over! Look at that sharp right hand bend, goes out towards the road. And then we've got to cross the road to the pig farm and turn right. Yeah. 
cool. How nice is it out here? If, if we get split up, we'll just meet the next Mate, you can't, I'll stay at the back. Can't get split up. How nice is it though? Love it. <laughs> oh, I'm not gonna go in there. See, the sand might suck up some of the water, but I ain't going in there. Normally, I don't mind the puddles, but when it's this cold, and the gear I've got on isn't waterproof at all. You can see how big these puddles are, look. All right. The puddles are huge. Yeah, I'm trying to avoid them. Normally, I don't know if you get cold on. We always used to see just... That one I had to go through. Yeah, but mate, that's fine, but... <laughs> What's the point in getting that wet? Ah, oh, it's lovely out here. Gorgeous. Start riding on the beach. Yeah, Christian's doing well, just standing up. He's probably a bit nervous, bless him, because of his uh, accident, which anyone would be. Some people have an accident like he had and they'd probably not, not ride again, but maybe for Christian, yeah, he sold his TPI and got his 450, but he uses it every day for work. It can do this sort of stuff easily. We'll bring it to Wales as well. That's the good news. Cristiano's coming to Wales with us. Oh yeah. See, I'm seeing how I get on with this air filter. I just oiled it up and I'll just clean it the same way I uh, did the, the original air filter. Well, I got this from uh, Dirt Bike Spec, Paul Bolton's online store. I've got a link to his shop in the description. Anything you need, motocross gear, enduro gear, mooses, tubeless, tyres, anything, goggles, he's got it all. So check out his, uh, his online store in the link. Oh, his wag's gone. <laughs> it's gone through the woods. Oh, there he is. There he is. Look at them go. Oh, there goes the deer. Right, we're heading over that way now. time you couldn't go in it. Last time it was uh, you, they were, they've filled in the rut, haven't they? Why would they make the effort to fill in around the edge? That makes no sense at all. I'll oh, listen to that. 
ruining the peace and quiet. I know we're in a bit, a bit noisy, but not as noisy as then. It's pointless. A stupid pipe on a quad bike. I'd rather be in a car than on one of them. Stupid loud, sounds like a shotgun going off. But that's illegal though, that's not legal. And that ruins just the, no, listen, dickheads. Anyway. Soon cool, didn't it? Yeah. Right, we're gonna head off. Maybe that way, try that way a little bit. I think that goes that way, dude, and back round for those trees, I don't know. We'll have a little, we'll have a little burn around this track. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's icy and dodgy, I'm but... finding it tricky with the throttle, it's really like on and off. So mine's a bit like that that's anyway. That's the comments they make about them, isn't it? Yeah, so I think I might um, maybe do the power commander and then see if there's a map that's a bit... I like the little guard on the brakelet, that's clever. Yeah. Yeah, it comes with everything. I mean, the one down here is quite soft. But this one's actually really good. Yeah. No, they've thought about it, haven't they? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, it just needs a little bit of like a few little tweaks, but it's an awesome bike. Don't get any like, like mine. What's that? Don't, Don't get any like mine. Your yeah, waggies are tw 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 twenty yeah. quid off eBay. <laughs> yeah, your yeah, waggies are the, 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 the bit expensive. <laughs> he he, re he, he remortgaged his house <laughs> to get them. <laughs> they do look pretty cool, though. Right. <laughs> this quads are gone now, good. Yeah, we'll have a burn around this track a little bit and then stop for a second and we'll uh, head back up across the pig farm up towards petrol station. He stacked it. <laughs> it's hard, but I love the practice of doing it. You need it to be all like this around the whole way, because that back bit's too muddy. I did about two mile an hour, but I had my front wheel going one and the other. And... Oh. Yeah, it goes, that's exactly what's happened. Control. I'm just giving it a bit, getting the corner, a bit of power, put out. I'm not saying I'm in control, but I love it. I have no idea, I, I think it's funny. The mud's a bit weird, it's not sticky. No. It's sort of... Loose, but not. I don't know what it is. Well, my hand guys stop the lever from getting muddy. <laughs> <laughs> you're you're alright though. Yeah, no, no, fine. It's like a, it's probably like a it's like a slow motion. That's oh, it's brilliant. Fun. Yeah, that's, that's a really deep one. That little track this time. If you come out of it, you're you're off. Oh, it's just good fun. Oh, I've warmed up now. I'm hot. Not sure where we're going now. I've been down here before. Got in wags. Going off road. Down down here.
just fell off a bike for no reason at all. <laughs> what a dick. I was looking at you and I thought, what am I doing? I'm Such a laugh. I'm not sure where all these trails are, where they go, wag nose. Well, I think he knows, but I haven't got a clue. Alright, head to petrol station now, get a coffee, and head back this way. Go Cristiano. Right. Yeah, cool man. Go to the pig farm. Puddle. I think that's a lake. <laughs> Holy moly, I bet that is deep. Oh, gorgeous fresh air. Don't go that way, we've got to avoid the shit. We've got to go around there. And then up that path there. Hey, it's Cristiano. Cristiano. Four is doing well. Right, that, oh, this is disgusting here. That puddle is just pig shit. And we've been in it before, and it's disgusting. It's so bad. So we're going to try and avoid that, which I can. We're going this way. I'm not sure where the wagon's gone, I've gone there. This could. This could get a bit dicey up here because it's quite rutted, remember? Are you loving it, dude, yeah? Yeah, it's exactly. brilliant, isn't it? Such good fun. It's a, bit, it's a bit boring now, it's a bit of a boring lane, but it's okay. Some, some dips and some bumps up here. I told Christian to take it easy. <laughs> Doing really well. There's a lot of tree roots on this track, if I remember as well. I've got, a, uh, I've got my new le knee protectors on, knee guards. I'll put a picture of them now. This is what they are. I'm not sure what model they are or anything. I'll try and add them to the list of my gear, the gear that I wear that I put in my, uh, in my description. But they're super comfy, and it stops your knee hyper-extending the other way from the front. So they're a step up, they're not knee braces, but they're a step up from knee pads. And they're so comfortable, I can't even tell you. They feel better than my knee pads did. Oh, they're lovely. They keep your knees warm as well. So I'm really tough with them. As I said, my helmet's great. My, uh, my goggles are brilliant. Every month I buy a new piece of gear just to you know, up the game of what I've got. Yeah, I'm going to up the game of my 
body armor, I think. That's the next thing I want to do, get some good, better body armor, get rid of this box, hard stuff, and get some Leet or some Alpine Star D3O body armor. Yeah. 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 It's not bad anyway, but at some point, but no rush. So we're all going to Wales again in uh, May. Not sure what date is, so I'm hopefully meet up with the boys from Midwest MX to share some cool trials. So that'd be fun. Last time on these bikes, we were down the fens, and the mud was unbelievable. I put into that video now. Oh my god, the mud! I've never seen anything like it. But as I said to the guys, that day we left the fens better riders. That's the whole point. You know, riding in that mud, bike control just, oh, it just makes this look like you're on the road. Oh, it's so easy. <laughs> yeah, that worked. That worked well for them, didn't it? <laughs> <laughs> We have to go down here and then straight to the road. Yeah. Is that legal? It's to stop cars coming. The burnt out car was down there. Yeah. It stopped cars coming down, yeah. So through here, just straight down, dude. Oh, you, can go oh, you can go a bit from the other side, but if you went this side, I'd nail it. I'd get stuck. Yeah. So I think I'm going to go the wind's way. Yeah. Oh, he's stuck. He got stuck. <laughs> Go, dude. Right, we'll hit the fuel station, have a coffee, then head back. You're, I can see it, it's just there that. Right, oh mate, we're heading back, the whole way back is going home isn't it? So I've got a tow rope in my rucksack from now on as well, just in case. <laughs> I was like, what am I stuck on? See now, I'm actually warm. Yeah. Mate, we don't want to be on the road very much like that. That's when you'll get freezing. Christian was going to ride here. No. Which we obviously he didn't. Oh, did that you first. <laughs> did that a year ago. My well, KTM top's falling apart. It's falling apart from the inside out. You can get a coffee here, a bit of flapjack. Yeah. Or something like that. She's stuck. Yeah, not got too muddy like now, but now I'm look, I'm cleverly going to do it. Yes, look. <laughs> nice and clean. That's the bike. Yeah, it feels good. I feel like I'm still don't really quite know the bike yet. Don't worry. And it feels quite hard. The suspension back feels firmer than I thought. So I'm going to because ah. I can see where the. Oh yeah, you got is. yeah. I think I need. But to you're doing, mate. You're doing well. First time out in Thetford, you're doing really well. You've got to take your time, and the conditions are pretty testing. You don't quite know what you're going to get. And also the, the clutch is way heavier on mine. There's a cable that's a lot of work on you. Yeah. But it feels good. That's brilliant. Bikes aren't... Well, they are a bit dirty, but they're not, they're not as bad as the fens. A lot easier to wash because yeah. the mud's not that, that really claggy, blocks your radiator up kind of mud. The bikes are fine. And you changed your, your uh, gear lever to a AP, was it? AS3. The no, no, that, 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 the gear, no, the gear oh, loser. A, a Pico one, that is. Oh, no! Hey, yeah. <laughs> Got it. Ah. No, my surgical gloves have kept me warm all morning. And the other thing, I want to put this up one notch, but this little plastic bit... Ah, oh, right, it's in the way, is it? But they do a, a, like a metal 
a Pico do a metal sprocket thing. All right. So I think after today I'm going to get it so I can have that a notch higher. That's it's a good idea, isn't it? Slightly annoying. Well, you learn as you're riding your bike. Pico yeah. do good stuff. That's what my uh, that's what my levers are, Pico. I have to say, I think so far I've liked the AS3 stuff a little bit better. These are AS3. Yeah, Christian's suspension's a bit firm, isn't it? Mm. Coming up too quick as well. Can you adjust the rebound on it? No, I adjusted the compression yeah. because it was like just fucking setting stone. I got these on mine. Oh mate, they're so fucking good, aren't they? Yeah. I forget to bleed mine all the time. But um, yeah, I think it, it comes up too quick and it needs yeah, to Yeah, I better get some. I don't well, I'm going to get geared up and head back yeah. towards the van. Loves it. That's quite what well, Christian, you could do that, that's easy. That, that's really easy, that is. on that get a bit of air go on go 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 it's fun learning isn't it having a laugh i've definitely found this are you what are you gearing you second first gear i think I know he's spinning up his tire. Mm -hmm. tinted but not enough. In these conditions you need some really dark lenses on because I can bloody hardly see. <laughs> Christian just stacked in some pig shit. Did you get that one? No, I wasn't filming when you fell off. You wasn't? No! Fuck's sake. No, he went, you can see what he did, his front wheel went, hit there look, and this slid. It's, we can't see, the visibility is terrible. The sun's so low. It doesn't get any higher than this in the day. I just said a minute ago I can't see much. Another one. 
Rémo. Take a picture. The bike's there. Ah, oh, shit. Yeah, like, like whales, like those rocky bits yeah, and that. In the narrow passes, they wouldn't get up, would they? They'll be stuck. Some yeah, of them are deep, look. You can go on the motorway. Hey, bud. He loves it. Hey, buddy. On those wet leathers, have you? Not yet. <laughs> but he loves it, look. Well, I'm quite chuffed, actually. I've fucking got pig shit all over mine. <laughs> yeah, lucky. I'm that, glad yeah. I had a crash. I feel better now, because that was my fear was falling yeah. off. Well, that took the brunt of it, didn't it, that? Yeah. But what I did, the front went, and I, instead of wrestling it, I just fucking went like Oh, that. mate, you got... You, I couldn't see the trail. The sun was so low. You need really dark goggles, uh, lenses, in this weather. Because you, you just can't see. But, yeah, it's, it's brilliant. Chewed up, it's worse now than this morning. Yeah, I, I've got an ice cream on the back. Are those boats going, or are we wait? I don't know if they're waiting for us or not. Oh man! No mate, that's fucking awesome. It's so slippery though as well. Oh, I was gonna hold your bike for you. Oh, 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 done it! I'm gonna hold it. The 
be less, less gates than in Wales, Wags. Only have two gates to do here. Not bad at all. Your road, but I don't think I want to bring a normal car down here with these ruts that ground up. Oh, dude. People don't know how to use the funny look. Yeah, but that's actually a, that's actually a road. That yeah. car was he grounding out down there? There's tens of hundreds. Oh mate, that was a complete ice cream on that Yeah, I can imagine. Mate, <laughs> I, I hit some bits where I shit on that ice. The, wor the ice was worse now than it was this morning. Yeah, I think obviously where it's like melted have been splashed. And that was dangerous actually. I, I, I was a bit, bit, bit nervy on that. Yeah, I, I didn't go. Yeah, bikes are fine. Not, not super dirty. Called giant loop, which goes like up and over the seat. But I want to keep it all the weight low. Yeah. And have it so I can literally just get on it and go. I don't have to pack any bag. Nothing. But it's brilliant, yeah, the tyres will make a big difference. Waggy knows about that when he changes on his free ride to some proper ones. It's actually but... fine apart from that icy... Yeah, mate, I, I was dodgy on that as well, but... Anyway, no, we had a good laugh, boys. Brilliant. Love it. We'll pack the van up and head home and awesome. do our normal stuff. We've all got, yeah, kids from one way or another. Chris, Chris has got a baby. Yeah, I'm not falling off. I, I fell off, I fell off as in not moving. Christian went into some pig shit. <laughs> Look, it's all as, over my fucking leg. Yeah, as his, <laughs> as his bike here will, is witness to it, because this pig shit mud I'm muck. Thing. Look, it's all full up with fucking... Uh, uh. Anyway, bikes are brilliant. So good. So, so good. Anyway, we'll be back in a few weeks here, discover some new trails, won't we, again? And have a bit more of a laugh. Brilliant. Anyway, all right, guys, take it easy. See you next time. Cheers. <laughs>